All right, um, did a little more work on the Honda XL350. Uh, got the carburetor cleaned, um, got it put on. Actually, uh, hooked some, or got some fuel in it, fired it over. I just kind of make shift, got the wires uh, put together just to see. Get it start and pull the wires back off for now. But, uh, ended up having to pull this side cover off. It was leaking still on the bottom side. Finally got that to stop. Uh, for some reason, I didn't clean the cover, get the old gasket completely off. I apparently did the old cover and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And, but anyway, I got it cleaned off now, got it back on. It's not leaking, so that's good. But uh, anyway, uh, started putting the handlebars, getting everything mounted up up here. And as you can tell, cables on this are way, way, way too long. So I've watched some videos and... Um, some guys that have actually taken and cut the cables down and then re-soldered the ends back on. I might try it. I, I don't have nothing to lose if it doesn't work. So, uh, But if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to order some different cables. So it might be a little bit before I get them in. But I think I'm going to try the solder deal, see if it works. Um, we'll see. I, I don't know. I've seen and heard different things about it. So uh, I don't know. We'll give it a try. But anyway that's where it's setting now i haven't got a whole lot done on it but it's slowly and surely getting there so hopefully we'll get some more done this week and, uh, get this thing finished up i gotta pull the forks back off i wasn't paying attention and my my headlight mounts actually go inside they're not the clamp on they slip on so i gotta put them on first and then slide the forks back up but that's not too big a deal but anyway getting closer uh I'd like to get all these cables straightened out, get the headlight put on it, and start running wires. And uh, I got the fiberglass coming for the seat and the resin. Um, so hopefully it'll be in here in a couple days and uh, start that process. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. All right, um, I'm going to add to this video. Um, what I ended up doing is I watched a lot of videos online about shortening your own cables and how to do it. and. I did my first one. As you can tell, I got just a little off center. So, uh, but it worked, and it's it's on there. I mean, I can I can really put quite a bit of pressure on it, and it's not coming off. I actually stuck it in the cable and pulled on it, and it's it's on there. So, I'm gonna have to just kind of redo, clip this back off, or melt it back off, and redo it. But the, the way I'm doing it, it, and what I've seen online, it, the best way anyway. I tried drilling out the the existing uh, end. Uh, didn't work. Uh, I don't know what kind of drill bits the people were using online, but there there's no way I could get through it. I mean, it was just not going to happen. So anyway, what I did is I ended up drilling holes um, in a piece of wood and then drilled a hole in through the side and shoved my cable in through the side and then put in the flux on the cable and down in the hole and then filling it up with the solder heating it up filling the hole up letting it set till it cools and then taking a screwdriver and breaking out all the wood and pulling it back out that's where I came up with this and like I said it does work it's just I wish I'd have got it in the center <laughs> but not bad for my first time so I'm gonna try again and see if I can get this one to work out and if it if it does and I, I think it will uh, I'm gonna do the other two cables and uh, it'll save me quite a bit of money so and I, I don't know if I could even find shorter cables like this that would have the the right ends lengthwise so but anyway I just thought I'd give an update and kind of let you guys see a way of shortening your existing cables so but anyway thanks for watching